do a quick tag video for you guys. Um, and this tag is called the Beauty Scenario Tag. I was not tagged by anybody to do this. I don't think I was anyways. Um, so I'm just going to quickly go through the questions. And I will tag a couple people down below. So please go check that out and see if I tagged you or not. Um, but if I didn't tag you, then I really want you to do this anyways. So let's just get started into the questions. Um, personally, I would keep for high end the Urban Decay Naked Skin, and for drugstore, I would probably keep the CoverGirl Three in One or the L'Oreal True Match because those are kind of more full coverage, and the Urban Decay Naked Skin is more light coverage, so I can have kind of best of both worlds, I guess. I'm the type of person that would probably just ignore it because I don't want to embarrass the other person or I don't know because if somebody told me I had lipstick on my teeth that would kind of be embarrassing for me so I would just kind of leave it alone and let somebody else do it just so I don't feel bad. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, right now I would probably definitely pick the, my new uh, Too Faced Melted Lipstick, and this one is a Melted Pony. But anyways, I do have it on today with some uh, MAC lip gloss, and a lot of people ask me what in my um, It's Judy Time uh, eyeshadow uh, tutorial and giveaway. I am actually wearing this right here and a MAC lip gloss. I forgot the name of it, but this is what I am wearing, or that's what I was wearing in that video. I would, I don't know, I didn't really, I don't think I had any bad makeup stuff because I didn't really do a lot of makeup. I just mainly did like foundation and stuff like that. But I would probably go and tell myself to pick the right foundation just in case, but normally I kind of went a little too light. So I would probably say pick the right foundation for my skin. Um, and my hair, I would totally not have gotten a perm because I wanted like, I had long hair at the time and I wanted like the bouncy type curls and my grandma which unfortunately passed away a couple years ago um, she was a hair beautician or however you say that and she I think she totally did it wrong and it was like I don't know it just fried my hair so totally not get a perm in my hair. I would just smile and say thank you and walk away and then just cry about it because I don't want them to feel bad. Um, like I said before, if I was like, if it was me doing somebody else's hair, then I would, I would hope that they like it and, you know, yeah. But I would just walk away, smile, walk away, and just cry afterwards. <laughs> Probably the Lorac Pro Palette, so just in case we go out like partying that night or something, I can do more of a dramatic look, and it also I can do like a more of a daytime look with that palette. So I'd probably take the Lorac Pro Palette. Either my Mac lipsticks or my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation, because yeah, just. probably just act like I didn't notice it and just kind of complain to my husband or something like that or just but I wouldn't let them know it I don't know I just, that would just be me because I don't want to say oh you got to pay for that unless it was like extremely expensive like $600 or you know something like that then yes I would be like hey look you gotta replace this you broke it you're paying for it but if it was like something like drugstore makeup wise that I could easily repurchase then I would just kind of forget about it but anyways that is all of the questions I hope you guys like this video and if you guys have any 
videos that you guys would want me to do, then please leave them in the down bar. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.